I, I will not support the resolution um, because of sections three and four. Um, I think the question of the preferred alignment is still um, subject to be reviewed. I think it's in, in incumbent upon us 14 years later to carefully have the review done before we go headlong into approval. Um, I also think that it has not been demonstrated that uh, other routes are not practicable alternatives, uh, that uh, we, in the time, in the last 14 years, the um, 1B has come in, 1A, 1B, a bikeway, a neighborhood bikeway, a neighborway has been established uh, from Hillsborough Road all the way through uh, uh, Cobblestone to um, uh, Homestead Road to uh, the high school. Um, and Sewell School Road side path also is a project um, that is on a priority list uh, to um, to be available. Additionally, a lot of folks have lost sight of the possibility, the great possibility of rails to trails with the decommissioning of the uh, UNC uh, coal, power, coal power plant and the, uh, and the railroad. Um, were we to do due diligence, we would um, contact Norfolk Southern and um, investigate the potential of a right of first refusal. That line, that rail line, would be a tremendous um, difference in uh, um, commuting ability uh, for Greenway. The, the Town of Carborough's comprehensive plan is built on twin pillars, equity and climate action. They are our moral touchstones. Unfortunately, we have not told ourselves or those we serve the truth about the challenge of authentically informing and engaging our entire community on these twin pillars. We haven't told ourselves and the community the discomforting truth about the reality of climate change and what it requires to address effectively. Our interest in paving a greenway network through the forest rather than a natural trail demonstrates a misunderstanding of how we, as human beings, found ourselves in a climate crisis. At the February 14th Town Council work session, Council discarded the opportunity to advance the understanding of the interdependence <coughs> of climate and environmental sustainability embodied in the Bowling Forest and Bowling Creek. The council chose to diminish the importance of providing the community with the environmental information necessary to inform their decision making. The March 28th Town Council's directive to staff and plan for the public engagement process was devoid of climate and environmental facts. Council demanded all information conveyed come from the Greenways, Inc. 2009 Master Plan. This was a 14-year-old report absent the word climate and submitted to the town board long before a Carborough Community Climate Action Plan, the creation of the Climate Action Pillar, or the Comprehensive Plan were envisioned. Further, Council stated objections to providing the community with any new climate and environmental science that has informed Carborough thinking and policy making during these 14 years. The significance of a forest, its surface waters, and ecosystem biodiversity are the heart of the controversy. Their continued preservation, protection, and conservation are a primary responsibility 
in the midst of climate change and its ecological impact. When we regard a forest and creek habitat as an infrastructure amenity, we disregard the rights of nature, its stability, and its ability to endure. The simple truth is we can establish both greenways and trails as a harmonious endeavor. I urge council and staff to seek common ground and make this moment one that bridges division. Fusing sound stewardship of the forest and creek with interest in expanding forest trails, our path forward can model the way for the community to create confidence in the town of Car Carborough governance, the public engagement process, and respect for one another and the environment.